So I'm out here working again. Um, something about me finding the worst days. Come out and work. It's been snowing and raining for the last month. I think we're nearly three inches over normal for the month of January, which is pretty awesome. We definitely needed it. But I'm trying to get the cab off. Uh, there isn't a whole lot on YouTube on how to do that. But I got the assembly manual and figured out how to get this out which helped me out i was afraid i was gonna have to pull the top off the transmission but I'll show you how i did that and then how i'm trying not to bend the crap out of this thing but here's what i'm doing so i knew i need to get the shifter for the transmission out um it wasn't readily available or noticeable that there was it was like that down inside the housing so i was able just to twist it and then knock it out with a hammer so i've got the clearance there i was able to thread out the start pedal um, unbolted the clutch and the brake pedal and then i started trying to jack it up to make sure i was free before i put that contraption in there <clears throat> but i was able to get a 2x4 under the back. I'm working the 2x4 on the front. The other side, I've got the parking brake that I'm trying to figure out. So I'll keep working and I'll show you that parking brake and what I'm going to take apart there. Okay, let's see if I can record this under here. So the brake, the parking brake, comes under right there. There's a little assembly. And then this rod comes back. Tried to just take that cotter pin out and pop it. That didn't work. So I pulled the pulled the spring off. Then I undid that one. Sprayed it with some penetrating lube. So hopefully, hopefully I can get it to loosen. I just cut it, but I kind of need that for my son's 52. Yeah, so that didn't work. I used a punch to try and punch that out and it just bent the crap out of it. So I'm gonna have to get that loose before I put it on Tate's truck. That one wouldn't move. I'll bust it loose. Okay, this is my contraption. Uh, the more I look at this, the more this thing could go sideways on me if I'm here by myself. Took two boards, put it across the top. Kind of worried on crushing that. I don't know where else to pick it from. Um, yeah, I can pound it back out, but there's two bolts in the front. And then there's four bolts in the back right there. They go down into a little clip. Uh, PB Blaster, I'm a believer. Tate and I, we tried to get these back bolts out and couldn't the night before with a three-foot cheater. Sprayed it with PB Blaster and then backed them out with an impact the next day. It was pretty good, but I am really happy with this cab. The, I know I'll get it cleaned up inside here, but there is literally no rust throughs that I can see so far right here I might might need just clean it up a little and then do some undercoating in there should look pretty good so I got this mess in the air I got plenty of clearance under here you can see I wanted to start pushing it to the east but fetching steering blocks i can't get the steering wheel i don't know what i'm missing for getting that pile of crap out because the whole thing moves my hand was out of the way the whole thing moves but i can't get it out so i'll keep fighting so i've got it up got it moving a little bit um we'll keep moving it Sorry about the dog. Uh, 
this rolls right down the driveway. Whatever falls off my rack. Or all land because of the snow and ice. Might need some help pushing this in the garage, maybe. I don't know. There goes out. Didn't think I'd get very soon. Hopefully, this is tall enough. Something one of my friends made. Thank you to him. Gosh darn. All enough. We shall see. Boy, where am I hitting? Huh. gonna work. Hmm. Now I'm gonna have to make an adjustment. That's stuck underneath now. But now that I got it off, looking around, I wondered what that would look like or it had been. I guess that's a little bulged and it was rubbing. But that don't look too awful bad. Got some patches here I need to refix. Like that one's exceptionally bad. Tried welding with flux core. I think that's what's causing me grief. Can't get it to lay down flat. Um, trying to decide on which holes I need to weld in the front. I think I need to take this, move it to the side. Wow, I got myself good. I got my hand stuck between this hinge here and my hand was stuck in the sawzall when I was cutting this thing off. Dumb thing. Now it moves. But yeah, everybody's been welding everything up on these cabs, but I don't know what do people do for their heaters? Because a lot of guys are welding their heaters up. Yeah, let me know in the comments so I can do the right thing. I know I need to cut this out for my transmission, but got her free. Doesn't look as cool anymore sitting here. But yeah, so your mount right there and two screws right there. That's all that holds it on there. I already pulled the brake. I had grand plans of fixing that. But I'll put a cap on that motor. This motor is still fine at the start, I think. Had it turning over pretty good. And so there it is. I got her off.